Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordum and we will be continuing our playthrough of Dishonored 2. So we're in Mission 4, the Clockwork Mansion, and in the last episode we finally managed to deal with Mr. Kirin Jindosh after a couple of failed attempts, let's say. And we also found this chair, the electroshock machine. So why is this chair important? Because one of our objectives, if we are trying to do a non-lethal approach to the game, is that we can place Jindosh in the electroshock machine. And this will neutralize him without actually killing him. Ooh. Let's place him here. Oof. Nice touch. Okay, so he's been placed. And I need to turn it on. So let's actually, first let's hear the audiograph. Because this was the machine he was using on Anton Sokolov to try and make him more docile, let's say. The machine has lost its quarry successful. Once the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought-after painter in all the Empire. My hero in younger days. Now, my puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant-looking device against me, get on with it, Jindosh. Though I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional curiosity as to the function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshock machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice as much as you do, Kieran? Perhaps the device could tell us that. No, sadly, it cannot. But what it can do is take from you the thing you love the most. Your precious intellect. If you won't agree to collaborate on the next clockwork prototype, I'll use the device on that brain of yours, Sokolov. I refuse. If I'm to be a drooling idiot, at least I won't be bothered by any more of your rambling theory. So... Yeah, if anyone had any doubts about hurting dear old Kirin Jintosh, I think this makes it pretty clear that he kind of deserves this. So, let's hope that the headless clockwork soldier doesn't come rushing at me and kills me <laughs> when I turn on the machine. Uh. Oh, come on. Okay, I wasn't expecting this actually. Oh, what's this? What? Current power needs anatomy 1. Optics, I guess. 3. Chemistry 4. Weaponry 6. Electroshock 7. Woodcraft 5. Total power available, it's at 11. So, note to self, there is insufficient power to operate the electroshock machine. Until this is rectified, I will have to compensate, freeing up more power for the electroshock machine by configuring the other laboratory platforms so they draw the least power. Okay, let's see if this the is as easy as it seems. machines are draining away too much electricity. We have 11 power. And the ones which use the least is anatomy, optics, and chemistry. Okay, so anatomy. This only uses one. Or none, maybe. Okay, whoa. Oh, this moves. Oh, God. <laughs> I did not want that guy any closer to me, but... Uh, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Even closer. Okay. 
What? I must say I'm confused. Is this the anatomy part? Or oh, it should be. Is that a foot? That's a foot. <gasps> a room. Lovely. A foot. Letter from Delilah. Kirin, you ask what the void looks and feels like if it can be measured like a real place. Here's my answer. Don't concern yourself with such matters. It is as real as anything I've ever experienced, but if you understood it, you'd know that such a statement makes as little sense as saying that I have been dead. Okay. The void is unspeakable. It is infinite and it is nowhere, ever-changing and perpetual. There are more things in the endless black void, Kirin Jindosh, that are dreamt of in your natural philosophy. Leave aside things beyond your reach and be content that you are gifted with more insight than the common man. Delilah. Okay. So she also spoke directly to him. We have this poor guy who's been hooded and killed. Maybe he was already dead. Oh. Ugh. A nose. Any useful stuff in drawers? Well, I mean, one positive aspect of changing this into anatomy is that the clockwork soldier is no longer on this floor. And I'm also guessing that this is the available amount of power that we have currently. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we need seven. So, the next one that uses the least is optics. And after op optics, it's chemistry. So I'm guessing there's another... Maybe here? Chemistry. But... Is it related? I, I don't actually know. Well, let's change it to optics. Oh. So, everything is changing. I really love the design of this level. Well, no, 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 Oh god. <laughs> Where the several parts of the house just Oh yeah, the I was right. shock machine should work now. Indeed. Uh where the several parts of the house just move around in order to make this work. And it's it's really well made. I must say. Oh, here's one of the heads I knocked out from the Clockwork Soldiers in the last episode. Okay, so we have enough power. So let's deal with this evil person. No, no, yes, no. yes, yes. You don't know what you're doing. Anything. I'll give you anything you want. Stop. Don't do this. So much will be lost in age of advancement! People like you can't be allowed to run amok. And he's done. So we haven't killed him. And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it... What does it do? Yeah, we just... Neutralize his capacity to actually build I knew that. a oh, Clockwork really Soldier Army. Does anyone know okay. the answer? It's also creepy to do it, but... I mean... Well, I guess it's better than killing the guy. Maybe. Maybe it's not. So, we are missing a Black Bone Charm. And and that's it. Okay, so we're only missing a black bone charm. 
This, I'm guessing, leads us back at the entrance. To the entrance, I'd say. But I want to see if I can get this bone charm. Given the amount of guards I've already incapacitated, I'm guessing it's mostly safe to kind of walk around freely. But I also don't want to push it. So, does changing this configuration allow me to get to the other side? It does. Can I go down from here though? No, it seems I am stuck. Delilah Copper Spoon. Copper Spoon. So not Caldwin. Oh. Much is being revealed. Oh, hidden chamber. Maybe this is a hidden chamber. A wall of light. We are full on, on mana. On Bakers and Electroshock. My electroshock machine provides insights into the human mind, though admittedly the subject is damaged or destroyed in the process. The advancement of knowledge is usually worth the sacrifice, of course. Once, having tested it on a baker, I found that I could obliterate the memories of his life and thus his personality while not impeding his ability to bake bread. I thought it odd at the time, but it's this exact effect I wish to reproduce in Sokolov. Sadly, I've never been able to reproduce it to my satisfaction. Sokolov, however, is no mere baker. If he refuses to aid me, it's doubtful that the machine could be used to weaken his willpower without also obliterating the knowledge and capabilities that are so precious to me. Still, the thought of reducing Sokolov to a state of infantile stupor is satisfying. Well, karma, bitch. That's karma. You shouldn't have been an evil person. Okay, so I don't think I've actually seen this wall of light before. And I cannot go through it at this time either. I'm actually gonna try something because I feel this is stupid if this works, but since I've never given it a try... Okay, makes sense. It would be extremely overpowered if Blink actually allowed us to, to move past the wall of light. Living and learning. Okay. So, how do we make our way into that area? Because I'm curious what that is. And how do we make our way into the bone charm? Who's this? Aramis Stilton? Hmm. The Mine Baron. Oh. So we actually know that the current Duke of Sarkonos, the evil Luca something something, uh, got most of his wealth because he took over the mines, I believe. I'm wondering if that guy is related. Or if he's involved in the process. Oh. Wait, let me see if I have... If I have a way to move... In this area, now that the configuration has changed. Now really, exploring this house is extremely satisfying, I must say. It really is. Oh, these 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 things are always empty. Oh, never mind. It's developed pictures. Never mind. So I'm guessing these are the pictures. Give me the money. There's a button. I'm I'm so sure I'm gonna miss a lot of secrets in this level because of of the the available configurations of the house there's probably a lot oh i've been here before yeah i have been here before i remember this 
crap. So, let's go into this closed door. Have I explored this place yet? Hmm. I'm not sure if that Clockwork Soldier is active or not. Oh, it's F, not F. The game cannot be saved because I was in the animation. Any picture? No. Weird picture. Yo, you're not active, right? Wait, I remember this. He was not active. Why is he over here? What? No, 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 no. Why are you over here? Hmm. I don't remember any alarm being raised. He shouldn't be over there. But... Okay, let's just avoid this area for now, I'd say. Because I don't want to deal with that guy right now. So these are the pictures developing. Okay. You are asleep. What can I find in this area here? Why don't I recall this area? Oh, never mind, I do. Yeah, there was one guy sleeping there, I knocked him out and brought him over there. And that's the waiting room. Okay, so... Let's see what we can find down here. And how we can actually go over there. Must I go outside? Did I miss this cabinet before? Nothing of interest. Okay, so this is where... I've never been over there. Okay, that's an elevator. The elevator isn't really that... That much of a priority. So let's try and make our way into that bone charm. I have no idea how to get it though. into anything <laughs> so I'm a bit lost in case anyone watching is wondering but I'm aiming for going back into the place I knocked out Jindosh. Where is this place? A painting? Another painting. Oh. I am very confused. What? Danger. Jesus, uh, is really far away at this point. What can I do by coming over up, up here? <gasps> no. You stay there. Okay. Let's turn this around, see where we can go. feeling I should have gone up with this section here but I didn't because I'm silly okay let's do this again 
you come down. Can I actually just do the oh ill advised? <laughs> Let's try this again. I may need to knock out that clockwork soldier in order to progress. I may need to do it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, I was just trying to avoid it. Uh, let's see, so I cannot do anything about this section yet. Because I need to disable the wall of light. Oh, but I, I think I know where I am. Okay. So this is actually where I wanted to go. I just... <clears throat> forgot the way. So this should lead us back to the laboratory. Correct. Correct. And this should lead us to where that clockwork soldier is. Either that or this is the section that has two clockwork soldiers. So you can open the latch, there's one, let's save the game, ah, okay, so this is where we are, I mean, I can and I probably should make them kill each other. When this plays, check central rotor. The machine is still searching. Playback for detection registered. Nothing happened, dude. Okay, return to routine operation. Okay, enemy encountered. Damn it. Hmm. I don't know where the black bone charm is. Okay, what I do know is that I'm gonna deal with these these clockwork soldiers as soon as I can because I wanna I wanna be able to explore this area. Okay. So he has lost his head. Oh no he hasn't. So the second shot didn't actually remove the thingy. Is it because I'm too far away? I was able to previously. Let's try this again. No. Damn it. Wait. Maybe this works? Like they just fall down? This would be awesome. Did they fall down? Ah, I doubt it. But it's possible. Let me just see if I didn't get... Okay, so I wasn't spotted. Good. It would be awesome if they fell. No, but I, I can hear at least one. Right, yeah, there he is. The machine is still searching. Wait, wait, don't come here. Ah, man, come on. Ah. I thought I had such a nice plan. Making them fall from the bridge. I was deceived. So back to the original plan. This guy here. I want him. To lose his head. Okay, and I was able to do it. Now hopefully. 
hopefully they will kill each other. Yeah, because they do not... Um, they aren't able to distinguish friend from foe when they are headless. So we got rid of one. We need to get rid of this guy now as well. Done. We only have one extra bolt. But hopefully this is enough for us to freely wander around this area. Is there anything of interest here? I mean, at least this should be able to lead us back outside. Oh, dude, I think I'm gonna kill you because I don't want... I want to be able to run around. <sighs> My last bolt. Make it work. Yeah. Go. Okay, so. Detection. None. Awesome. Now I can run around. Now, this... Should make the configuration change. So that we can get back outside. I think that guy is not... Oh, come on. I have an extra one to deal with. Mm, not cool. My fear is that if I fire a bullet, it's gonna count as detection. Let's see. Did I just shoot the... This thing? Oh, it sucks. It sucks greatly. <laughs> the crossbow is insanely superior. Alright, let's see if we can do um, a jumping... Disable move or jumping assassination move or something. Since we can actually... I mean, if it comes over here. Alternatively, I can do something like this. Nah, I'm gonna fail. <laughs> okay, let's see if he comes closer. Hopefully it does. Man, and I still need to make my way back to Sokolov, but that is something I think I can easily find the way. Don't you want to come over here, little one? You don't care. Okay, can I do something like this? Yeah. Okay, so good to know. It's possible to... I was gonna say destroy. Never mind. It's possible to remove the head from a clockwork soldier. Does it count as being seen? No. Awesome. Still, I can't be running around making a lot of noise. At least not too close to him. Still, this is progress. I wanted to... Can I cut the cord? Of course not. Um, I wanted to disable this wall of light. Because I need to make my way back into the waiting room. And from the waiting room... Triggering electrostatic for detection. No. Is this a detection? It is. Yeah. Gotta load. So this is a problem with the Clockwork Soldiers. You, you gotta constantly sneak. Otherwise, even without their heads, they're gonna detect you. So, as I was saying, I wanna make my way back into the waiting room. 
from the waiting room, I want to get to the assessment chamber, which is where Anton Sokolov is currently being held. Now, hopefully, it also kind of leads me in the way of the bone charm, which would be great. Why is there... Oh, okay, never mind. I know what, I know what happened there. Okay, so this place is probably where I'm going to fall and die. Because it's happened before. Still. Let me see. Uh, okay, assessment chamber to the right. And this is where we disabled the... Um, don't blow up, don't blow up. The wall of light. The one thing that is making me... Ah, I was gonna say, the one thing that's making me curious is that I could swear that there was a guard in this area. But I believe that's the guard that went to check when the elevator crashed down and I, I knocked him out. So it's, it's also safe to walk around here. Do I need bullets? I don't. Oh! This was a lucky find. A lucky find of a lucky sapphire. Fitting. Adequate. <laughs> okay, so those two still get triggered if I get too close to them, so let's not do that. And the black bone charm is above me. Which is somewhat... I keep forgetting if I run into that thing it can blow up. Not good. Let's see if we can get to the bone charm from one level above. Let's see from this section. Oh, have I been here actually? Ever before? Oh, I, okay, I think I know what this is. This is um, the lower part of the laboratory. I still don't have the maintenance key. I mean, not that I need it, I don't think I need it, but still it's curious how I haven't found that key yet. Man, the bone charm is 40 meters away. Is it on the outside? does not look like it. Uh, Corvo, why are you? It doesn't seem to be on the outside. But it's really close. Hmm. Now, this is the problem part. I wanted to get into that elevator, but how can I do it with the clockwork soldier over there? What kind of ammunition do I have? I'm extremely limited. Can I set his head on fire? Does that do anything for us? It doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. This is a well hidden bone charm, I must say. State. Okay, so can you spot me? No, you can't. Let's see if I can find it. Thirty-nine meters away. This makes no sense. But it should be on this floor. So at least, at least I think I'm in, I'm on the right floor. Of course, it's on the other side. So how do I get to the other side? Uh, what can I see from over here? 
Nothing. I need to change the configuration. Where can I change the configuration of the room? That's also a nice question, isn't it? Oh, let's not go over there. Oh, here! Or is this only for the... For the waiting room? This is only for the waiting room. Damn. So at this point, I have no idea how to go to the other side. Can I do it from here? I don't think so. So this is where the soldier is. Man, it's gotta... It's gotta be accessible from the window. I'm guessing some people are laughing at me right now. <laughs> as this is maybe quite obvious, but... It's not being obvious to me. Uh, it's probably under a different configuration of the house. Which I have not yet discovered. And that's also where Anton Sokolov is. But one floor higher. Okay. I'm gonna make an attempt to deal with this guy. See if I can distract him, something like that. I think they're suggesting I should throw a grenade, but <laughs> I can't because there's a corpse right there. I could shoot him, but let's let's see if we can if we can find a more discreet approach. Play this if the machine detects evidence of a break-in. Can I do this in time? Okay. So let's go into the guest area. Actually, what I should do, I should break this. I think I should break the elevator. So that I can move around. A bit Weapons more detected. freely. Probably a door was unlocked or something. Dodaka needs a good dog fighting club. Like the ones in my father's time. Evidence of robbery. Because you detected. see, that's where the black bone charm is. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it. I, I don't even think I can step on that floor. Because the art pylon is still active. And it will kill both me and the guard. Which is something I do not want to happen. Extending exploration of the machine and switching out of search. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Oh, I'm back. <sighs> mm. Okay. So, we're gonna do something here. And then we are gonna finish the episode and we will continue looking for that bone charm in the next one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay here all day. And it's not gonna be very fun to watch. chance I'm going to ask for a transfer to the Grand Palace. Why shouldn't I? I deserve as much. Okay. So 
Let's do. Wait. Oh, come on! Okay. We're gonna knock down the elevator. See if it takes us anywhere different. Uh, and we're gonna end there. So I don't make you all suffer while I look for this bone charm. Well, I will in the next episode, but <laughs> not all at once. Let's see. Okay, so... <laughs> Nobody spotted me. They just saw an elevator go down. Oh, and it's this elevator. Okay, so once again, we are back at the assessment area. Right, so since I'm a bit stubborn, let's just see if I can quickly find an alternate route. That route? An alternate route which would lead us oh, into the bone charm. This is not a new place. We have been here before, but let's just see. No. Okay, so this hasn't led us anywhere. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna end it here to not make this entire episode about the bone charm. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching once more. Uh, if you want to get updated about future uploads, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you want to say anything about me wandering around like an idiot <laughs> trying to find this possibly very obvious bone charm. And I hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. Until then, stay safe.